Um, thanks to your patience with the delayed start today. For information on travel days, we're now doing captain's run presses straight after training. So sometimes if there's a few extras on the pitch, um, we are a little bit delayed. Thank you for your patience. Um, I'll just start. We've got Richard Cockrell here for a live section. Um, I'm sure you've seen our news this morning that Owen Farrell, our captain, has um, had a positive PCR test for COVID. Um, we are doing additional testing with him at the moment. We will know more hopefully later this afternoon about it. Every single other player has trained today um, and um, every single other test, PCR test received for all players and staff has been negative. Um, so I'll pass you over to Richard. If you'd like to ask him a question, please raise your virtual hand. Thank you. Who'd like to go first? Duncan, we'll come to you, please. Morning, Richard. Could we just start with the COVID situation? How's Owen doing? Yeah, look, he's in isolation. We're going through the, the normal protocols. So, um, yeah, he, he, he's, he's fine. Obviously, uh, we're just waiting on to, to see what, what, what happens next. So is the hope that it was a false positive and you could yet play tomorrow? Uh, like I say, we, we, we are all retesting and uh, we'll go through the protocols and... Um, Hopefully he'll be he'll be good to, uh, to 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 be playing for us, but at this point we'll we'll just have to wait and see. Sure. And if Owen is unable to play, what, what's the contingency plan at fly half and, and as captain? Well, we've got great options um, in both the leadership and and the, the ten position. So um, that, that's a call we'll make if we need to at the right time. Okay. And did, was Marcus able to come through today's training session? Okay. Eddie said he wasn't able to train this week until today. Yeah, everybody's trained fully this morning and they're all fit and well. Okay, thank you. Lovely, thanks, Duncan. Do we have any other questions? Uh, Liam, we'll come to you, please. Richard, how are you? It's um, Just wondering, how's it been the past few weeks settling into the rhythm of test rugby compared to the, the career, coaching career you've had in, in, the, in the club rugby circle, where it is the hands-on week to week? Yeah, obviously very, very different. Um, I'm just uh, I'm throwing myself in, into it and enjoying it. So just new coaching group. Obviously, um, I know a couple of the players from my time at uh, at, at Leicester, but uh, getting to know the players well and um, and just trying to help and, and, and be involved as much as possible. So, yeah, I'm enjoying it and happy to be back at Twickenham. Looking forward to the game tomorrow. How's the rapport going with Eddie Jones so far? I mean, he's, he's a di different type of character to work under, very similar to you in terms of being fiery, likes to be in charge, etc. How, how have you found it? Yeah, good. Eddie knows what he wants. He's very, uh, he's a very good coach. Um, we're all trying to bring ourselves together and collaborate and be, be a tight coaching team and develop. So yeah, I, I've, in, I've enjoyed him. Uh, he knows exactly what he wants and uh, he, he leads the, the group very well. And just finally for me, I think I think it's 1999 since you last wore the England shirt as a player. I mean, it's, it's 22 years on now. I mean, a bit of a gap for you coming back into the test arena. How excited are you to be back involved at this sort of a, a tier of rugby? Yeah, brilliant. Obviously, um, I've played for England. Uh, I'm obviously, my first test is now as, as an assistant coach. So looking forward to it. Great to be back at Twickenham. What a wonderful place. And um, just looking forward to, to, to helping the team and, and being involved and making sure we're improving. Thank you. Thanks, Liam. Uh, Martin, we'll come to you, please. Hi, Richard. You say that um, you've got plenty of options with leadership in at fly half, but I'm not sure that that's the case at fly half, is it? Your obvious backup, Marcus Smith, wasn't fit to train fully yesterday, and there is uh, no obvious other option. Um, will you be putting in a call, or has there been a call put into any other fly halves around the country? The most obvious, obviously, being George Ford. Um, no, we're we're waiting on on what happens with with Owen, um, and we're comfortable with the, the ten options that we have. So, you will not be contacting George Ford. Uh, look, Eddie will make those decisions. He's the he's the guy that makes those calls. So. Um, as and when, if appropriate, Eddie will, will, do, will do what he, he, he sees fit. So are you saying that he, he'd be prepared to wait until the end of today when perhaps you know more about the Owen Farrell situation to even put George Ford on standby? Um, this is probably not a question for me. So, look, Eddie will make those calls. So it's, well, with, with, with respect, Richard, you are the the only person we can speak to now and you are a member of the coaching team. So I'm sure yeah. you're aware of what, uh, what Eddie is thinking about. It's your most crucial call that you've made throughout the entire COVID period. Um, at, at this point in time, we're, we're, we're happy with the options we have at 10. Thanks, Liam. Uh, Martin, we'll come to you, please. 
So are you prepared possibly to go with, with, with Burbank as your, your backup fly half? Who is a full back? Sorry, Martin. We've got three more people. Put the hands up. We've got four more minutes. I think he's answered the question now. Gavin, can we come on to you, please? Thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah, Richard, I was just wondering if the, you've been able to identify the source of the outbreak um, from the test yesterday and today. No, that that's not that's not been um, been possible. We we uh, we we don't know where the, the source has come from. And again, I'm probably just in the, in the confusion about this. But if is your understanding if Owen gets a, a negative test this afternoon, he would be able to play? Is that is it as simple as that? I, I think that the medical team are working through that process as we speak. Okay, thanks. Jeremy, we'll come to you, and then uh, Nick and Alex will come to you for some quick ones after. Thanks very much. Yeah, hi, Richard. Um, just on um, Furbank, is, is Furbank really an option to start a test match at 10? Well, he's done it previously. He's, um, he's uh, obviously trained in that position in the last couple of weeks. So um, he, he's, he's a very uh, good option if, if required. And just on the pack and Tom Curry playing at eight, so what are your thoughts about that? And what kind of job is Curry going to do there? Oh, he's a, he's a fantastic player in, in how he plays and his actions in the game. So whether that's in any position across the back row, he has huge effect on the on on the game. And I think the balance of that back row with with Courtney um, and uh, and Sam Underhill is is a very strong one. John, you and the pack. Are you going to pack? Are you going to make the most here? Sorry, sorry, you broke up there. Can you just repeat that? Yeah, just on the on this pack. What are you going to do for the England pack here, Richard? Oh look, we're starting a, a, a new, uh, you know, a new uh, process into the 2023 World Cup, and we're going to build this pack, and that will be lots of people may come in and out of that pack to be um, formidable, and for us to be able to compete and 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 hopefully dominate um, uh, world rugby with, with our with our forward pack. So that's that's the idea, and uh, we've got some work to do, but we're we're starting that process now. Thank you. Thanks, Jeremy. Nick, we'll come to you, please. Hey, hey, Cockers, you've already had Hi. your captain's run. Who who was 10 in the captain's run and who was captain in the captain's run? And can you just talk a bit about wh when you found out the news and and just what that meeting was like? And, you know, was it was it a bit of a disaster? Uh, no, look, we, we've got, a, we've got a, like I say, a, a, we've got a good leadership group. We've got a good group of players and, um, you know, things get thrown at you, so you just have to deal with the adversity, and we have to we have to uh, just take the next step forward. So we, we we've done that. Um, uh, you know, I'm not sure I, I want to particularly discuss who's who's playing where and why in captains' run. So that that's not for for me to discuss or, or give away. So look, we, we're well prepared. Um, we have contingencies. We've got a resilient group, and it's a, it's a good test for this group to make sure whatever happens, we perform and, and do exactly what we want to do. And how late will you leave it before making a decision on the team? Um, look, the medical team are going through those those processes and and the protocols. Um, if uh, if Owen is a, is available, um, he, he will he will play. Um, as simple as that. And we'll we'll, we'll be guided by um, uh, the medics and, and see exactly what, what what the situation is. And um, if he's if he's if he's good to go, he, he will he'll be in the team. Do you, do you expect to find out today? Because yesterday's PCR tests were overnight results. Do you get them the same day or do you have to wait till tomorrow? As far as I'm aware, we should know at some point today what the situation will be. Cool. Thanks. Cheers. Thanks, Nick. And we'll finish up with Sarah. Thanks. Hi there, Richard. Just a quick one. If, if George Furbank did wear 10 tomorrow against Tonga, tell us a little bit about his character and how he would rise to the occasion. Well, like I said, he's played there before. He's played for his club there. Very talented player, great instincts. Um, and I think he'll take it in his stride. Um, we've got no concerns with our options in that position. And um, whoever starts and finishes there will, will, is, is more than capable of doing what we need them to do. Thanks very much, um, guys. That was the end of the live section with Richard. We'll be up shortly with Courtney. Hopefully, he's finished his extras.